government of Kenya is marginalizing us after even having the devolution. That is in our schools. Most of our schools are performing poor because we don't have enough teachers. The reasons being the so-called TAC is taking us for grant where they are training their relatives and there are people dumping them to Mandara County to just do their propagations and when they finish, they return, giving us the name that Mandara is unsafe. Why was it not unsafe for me and yet it's unsafe for them? Why was it not unsafe for my brother who sits there, yet it's unsafe for the teachers only? That is the biasness of the TAC people. Literally, if only I have the powers to do that, the entire TAC could have been scrubbed because it is of no help to us. Why were you posting teachers to Mandara County all in the name of giving your relatives your job? This is not where you want to test your brothers and sisters to give them a job so that you transfer them to where you want to transfer. Please tell the president to disband that TSC thing because it's of no help to us. I remember sitting in a meeting with them and what they talk that nasty thing is just so nasty. Please, we don't need the TSC because it is complicating things for us. Number three, my brothers, our kids are going to school barefooted, having nothing. It's just because the parents are poor. We cannot even afford to give them tea when they are going in the morning to school. And yet we were told, and then he let any he, let any he on Guinea, and then buy 12 books. If I could not even give her a, a cup of tea, where will I bring the exercise for 12, 12 subjects? It just becomes that is very impossible for us. My good people, in one of the schools, Mandara DEP, a teacher was explaining to me, there's a Swahili saying that says, Uchungwa emana ajuwae ni mzazi. Lakini mimi ni mebelisha. Uchungu ya mana, ajuwae ni mama. Two students who are going to that school, two sisters, just because they never had shoes, just because they never had a school uniform, just because they shared that one uniform, this sister comes once to school, the other one stays. I am very comfortably seated, including calling myself a leader and my student. Our daughters are suffering in school. There was a question I was seeing here. That is their connections between the county government and the school teachers without fear of contradiction. We are having a sister see, see there. Ask her if she has ever been leaving from her school, from her office to that school. It's just a three minutes walk. She's never attended. Literally, that means the county government has no connection with the teachers or even with the student. We want to have enough teachers, if at all. The government cares for Mandera County. Please, we need enough teachers. The way, these other teachers, the way these other schools are having extra teachers, where even some teachers are earning from the government, they don't even teach. Reason being, they have enough of them, some of them are just relaxing. My sisters and the students, my kids, are suffering in one of the schools without teachers. Reason being, we are branded and safe. Number two, my good people, our kids who go to school hungry without even food, imagine we used to have feeding program in schools. It was in stop 2003 to death is a decade. My last born is now 19 years old. And that was the last time she has ever tested that feeding program. What did we do as Mandera County to deserve this? We don't know. But lakini when it comes to politics and siyasa, sisi ndo tunakuja kuomba utupatie ni kura. Lakini ikifika kwa kazi, sisi tunavutwa nyuma. Just because we are branded al Shabab. Al Shabab is everywhere in the world, not in Mandera Pekeake. Why was it that the teachers are just moving from one place, only not in part of this country, and yet, and yet, it happens even in Nairobi. There are even worse incidents that happens in Mandera, in Nairobi, and yet, it is not covered. Please, if it is going to be implemented, if it is going to be implemented, let it be it, the truth, and nothing but the truth. My good people, we want trained enough teachers in Mandera County. If, if at all we are Kenyans, let's be equal to other Kenyans. I'm a student for one of the remotest places during my time called Wargadut Primary School. For Wargadut Primary School, without barefooted and the hardship, I have never seen textbooks. Wallahi, I have never seen textbooks when I was in my school and I finished. And guess what? I made it to the Kenya High School. These students in Mandera County are not poor. They are not dull. The only thing they are lacking is opportunity and enough teachers. Please, I know that the message will be clear and it will go to the president. But for you, my good people who are seated here, please, sanitize on this. 
stress on this. Our problem at northern part of Kenya, including Mandara, is quite urgent and in fact very urgent that police will could be considered. If only we can have we can have enough 